Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna talk about different ways to put scales on your lures and we're starting right now. So the first scaling technique that I want to talk about is one of the most realistic in my opinion and it's done by using a shower sponge or a shower loofah. So you just cut out a piece and you wrap it around your lure and you hold it down with clamps. Now it's very important that it's very tight to your lure. And then the next thing you do is shoot paint in two different angles. Now the reason that you use angles to shoot your paint is to create more depth and realism in those scales, meaning that you want your scales to be darker uh, at the beginning. So in between scales you create a little bit of a shadow and at the end of the scales they become lighter so that it sticks out a little bit and this technique is not the easiest but it's well worth it to learn and practice on because the results are very very nice and one of the most realistic scaling patterns you can do do note that the effect is best achieved on a flat surface so lures that already have a scale texture carved out of them it's gonna it's it's gonna give less of a it's not gonna give the same result it still looks really good but the scale texture interferes a little bit with the the painting itself if you're interested in learning more about painting scales with a shower sponge i will leave a link in the description down below for the videos where i explain this more in depth the second scaling technique is a little bit easier and it might not be a hundred percent scaling technique but it does give a realistic result, especially for smaller lures or lures that already have that carved out scale texture. And that's by using washes. Washes are a very fluid kind of paint and where they accumulate, that's where they get darker. And wherever they uh, just go over, they uh, leave a lighter mark. So that means when you put a wash on a scaly texture like here, then the wash is gonna crawl into those crevices and that wash is going to accumulate there meaning that the crevices are gonna be darker and the scales itself are gonna be lighter which creates um, instant depth and a little bit of realism to your lure so it's very easy to use and it's a, it gives a really quick results and it's kind of foolproof if you're using Vallejo washes because you can wipe them down with water just like that so if you make a mistake or when you want just the crevices of your scales to be filled and the scales itself you want to be in a different color you can use a wash and then just wipe the surface of your lure and then you will only leave the wash inside the crevices of those scales and for this technique i have a few videos which i will leave in the description down below so you can learn more about using washes on your lures Another really cool technique is foiled scales, especially for uh, species that have larger scales, like for example this mirror carp. Um, and it just, I wouldn't say it's extremely realistic, but the result is very, very artsy and extremely shiny. And um, yeah, I love to work with this stuff because it's very easy to use and you can create really beautiful lures with it. So to use this foil, it's very simple. You put on the glue and with the glue you can draw your design. So if you want bigger scales or smaller scales or a lot of scales or less scales and the foil will only leave there where you put the glue. It's also really nice to do an entire head or the gill plates with it because this, this foil is extremely shiny and very bright in the water. If you want to learn more about these foils and how to use them, I will leave a link in the description down below to some of those videos. And with that foil, there's also a different scaling technique that I like to use, especially on lures that have these tiny diamond shaped carved out scale patterns, because it really gives a really cool result. So in order to achieve this, you simply just have to dip on your foil glue, then let it dry and then just press on your foil and rip it off time after time after time and the more irregular the pattern in your foil is or the leftovers let's say the more irregular your pattern is going to be onto your lure 
So it's very easy, it's very quick. You can play a little bit with the paints that are underneath the foil to create certain colors or shades. But as you can see in this short video, it is really easy and gives really quick results. This is also very interesting for people who sell their lures because you can achieve really quick results so you save a little bit of time there and the results are really good as well. And then the last scaling technique that I want to show you guys is probably the most difficult one but it really looks amazing as well. It's very artsy, it's uh, very artistic if you will uh, and it's very labor intensive. It takes a really long time to paint this but the result is amazing and really cool. The way to do this is you have to carve out a scale stencil first, preferably in two sizes so that you can paint small scales and big scales. And then first you slightly paint the texture of your scales onto your lure and then later on your color, you're going to color them with your airbrush with an opaque brighter color. And then when you have colored them with an opaque brighter color, you're gonna put a little bit of a shadow in front of every scale. Uh, by using a transparent black or a candy 2 black. Also for this scaling technique I have a video explaining everything and I will put a link in the description down below for this video. I will leave a link in the description down below for all the materials that I used for this video and also I will leave a link to all the useful videos that show you how to do these different types of scaling techniques so if you're interested you can always watch those videos and learn how to do them. Thank you for watching, have a nice day and see you next time. Bye bye.